To set the cam attachment, first remove the air bearing stylus bracket assembly. Slide the axial follower in the T-slot and line it up so that the center of the follower is under the center of the air spindle. Install the appropriate cam by removing the retaining ring and sliding the cam over the quill. The side of this cam that has a relief will be on the follower. Remove the air bearings indexing ring and draw bar. Slide the spring housing over the quill and compress the spring housing approximately 3 eighths to 1 half inch so that the cam is pulled into the follower. Replace the draw bar into the spindle and install the handle over the knurled end of the draw bar by tightening the two set screws. You'll need to use a five inch cup wheel that has a three quarter wide face. Set the motor spindle angle at zero. To dress the wheel, a diamond dresser is required. Of course, if you're using a CBN wheel, this isn't necessary. Set the air bearing swivel base angle to one half of the countersink's included angle. For example, if you have an 82 degree countersink, set the swivel base angle to 41 degrees. Place the countersink into the spindle using the appropriate size collet. Align the cutting edge with the center line of the cam set screw. This is important for the timing of the drop. Now turn the motor on. Rotating the air bearing, feed the countersink into the wheel. Keep grinding until you've achieved a uniform finish around the cutting edge. If you are using a multi-flute countersink cam, align the cutting edge as before and sharpen the first three flutes. After sharpening the first 
three flutes, rotate the cam to align with the cutting edge of the second three flutes that have not been sharpened and repeat the process. This procedure is the same for the four and eight flute cam.